Ben Scott of the New America Foundation, welcome to WPC TV. You've just been in a fascinating panel on, um, on big data. How do you balance the opportunities and the risks of big data? This is the uh, $64 million question. Yeah, it, it is like any new technology. It affords great new developments in market growth, in consumer benefit, but it also brings with it a new set of challenges. And what you find is that the policy regimes that protect consumer and citizen rights uh, are not as fast in developing as a technology is. And so each time you have a technology revolution like big data, you have a, a game of uh, catch up where policymakers seek to modernize the frameworks of, of law and policy to make sure that they are adequately uh, governing these new markets. After the Edward Snowden revelations, did you sense any change in public or, in that case, government attitudes towards big data? I think undoubtedly. And while uh, the, the severity of the public outrage over the Snowden affair varies from country to country, uh, particularly in Europe, you have very serious uh, disruptions in the transatlantic relationship and a skepticism towards the United States, towards the United Kingdom, and a skepticism towards these kinds of technologies as a result of the Snowden affair. The question is, how deep does that skepticism go? Uh, when I look at it and I see how people responded to the Arab Spring in 2011, the Twitter revolutions, and the liberatory power of distributed communications networks, it is remarkable to me how quickly we've gone to, after the Snowden affair to people viewing these technologies as dystopian and uh, tools of political control and social manipulation. And while both images, utopian and dystopian, are monolithic and w each in its own way flawed, both are now deeply felt. And that, that arc of transition from one to the other over such a short period of time, I think, is something we should be watching very closely because I think it has political and economic implications. And Scott, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.